Ever since I was little, I hear tales of dragons. Living in caves. Breathing fires. But there had always been a mythical creature in my head. As I grow older, I realized dragons exist. Komodo dragons, known as the biggest lizard on earth, have thrived for millions of years on a cluster of islands on the coast of La Bombardia Flores, Indonesia. This part of the world is one of the richest places in biodiversity. One of the reasons why I'm here. One of the reasons that I take this journey to see the dragons. The only way to reach this place is by boat. On my journey there I'm lucky to be greeted by a group of dolphins. It really feels like I'm entering a whole nother world. Going back in time to when the dinosaurs existed. Volcanic islands, crystal clear water, stunning wildlife, the world of the dragons. I'm here at the Komodo Island where the biggest lizards on earth are, the Komodo dragons. Komodo National Park was founded in 1980 to protect the Komodo dragons along with other wildlife living in the park and the surrounding. The Komodo dragons can only be found in four islands within the Komodo National Park and on the island of Flores. In this opportunity I'm visiting the Komodo and Rincha Island to find the dragons. While here in Komodo, the rangers take us within a group on a short trek through the island to find the biggest lizard on earth and share a few information on them. Komodo dragons have long muscular tails, strong necks and powerful claws. They wear a suit of armor made of tiny bones covering them from head to tail. The dragons typically weigh about 79 to 90 kilos and can reach a length of 3 meters for the males. While the female can grow up to around 68 to 73 kilos and 1.8 meter in length. The Komodo dragons are carnivores, meaning they only eat meat, wild boar, deer, buffaloes and carcasses are some of their preferred meals although they also often taste their own younglings. The Komodo dragon's mating season falls in between the month of May and August, while in September the females would lay about 30 eggs each in their nest. Now we are in front of a little dragon nest when they need to lay their eggs. And yeah, actually Komodo dragons have three kinds of nests to put their eggs inside. Yeah. Special for this nest, not built by dragon. Yeah, but this nest built by bird. The bird namely guinea fowl. Komodo will take over. They can do whatever. Yeah, when they want, because king of predators. So they will make hole uh, the middle in the nest. So they will make uh, two meters deep inside to put their eggs inside. Of Komodo's uh, egg up to nine months. And after that, the babies will come out from the eggs, hatchling. March and April, that's time to hatchling, yeah. And later, even their mom will eat the baby. I mean, cows Komodo are cannibal animals. Okay. So as soon after hatchling, baby of Komodo dragons just climb up to the trees. The next three years are crucial for their survival. They feed on insects and smaller lizards until they are big enough to survive on the ground. Those that make it can look forward to a long life. The Komodo is at the top of the food chain on this island and can live for more than 30 years. As there was not enough time to dive deeper into the life of the Komodo dragons, I decided to head early morning to the island of Rinche to do a four-hour adventure trek to find out more about these special creatures. As soon as I arrive, a big male Komodo dragon is walking towards me. He uses his long yellow forked tongue to sample the air. The sense of smell is their primary food detector. I keep a safe distance from the creature. 
in awe of this animal. At the ranger camp I meet my guide Manuel for the trekking tour. He explains the route and what I should be aware of. Two Manuels on adventure. Alright, we are doing now adventure trekking, three hours to find Komodo dragons in the wild. Thank you, Manuel, for yeah. taking me along with you. <laughs> I'm gonna take you more deep in the forest. Yeah. Komodo dragons like it hot, with daytime temperatures that often reach 35 degrees Celsius with 70% humidity. With a terrain that mimics the savanna, it's hard to find shades. Only after a few minutes of trekking, I feel the sun burning down and my sweat running. It's a challenging task to explore the island. We find a track of the Komodo dragon's tail and decide to follow it through the bushes and trees. The trail leads us to the Komodo hunting zone, a place close to the ocean and that you normally don't want to be. There we see a big male dragon resting under the tree, waiting for the prey to cross its path. After tracking the Komodo for a few miles, we finally found him. What a big male. So here is the hunting ground of the Komodo and look at this. This is a male Komodo and he's waiting for the prey to come to a relaxing because it is a good place for them to cool down because the water will come up from the sea later. Then um, Komodo normally do sneaking out from behind when they pray they relaxing in the mud. And yeah, he's very patient. It's okay if they wait for a long time, but it will be worth it later. Komodo dragons are capable of swallowing down as much as 80% of their own body weight in food. It's rare to see them hunting because they can survive on as little as one meal a month. Komodo dragons have venom glands which are loaded with toxins that lower blood pressure, prevent clotting and sends the prey into a shock. It will eventually bleed to death. We continue the tracking to the second hunting zone of the Komodo dragon on the other side of the island to reach a river that buffaloes love to take back. What I love most about this is you never know what's gonna happen or which animals you will see. And um, that's the most exciting part. So we arrived at the second hunting point from the Komodo dragons. And Komodo can smell for five um, kilometers away, but it's depending on the wind direction. The Komodo, normally they're fighting in the mating season. They um, sometimes bite very seriously to each other and if they uh, get bitten from the other so they're not gonna infect it at all it's like they get immune to this I'm fascinated by this island so many things to discover and learn from the four hour trekking adventure gave me a lot of more insights on the special species the magnificent Komodo dragon is also vulnerable the estimated population of Komodo dragons within the Komodo National Park seems to be around 2,500. On the much larger island of Flores, which is outside the National Park, the number of dragons have been decreasing due to habitat destruction and only a very small amount are expected to live on the island. I'm very glad that this National Park exists to protect them. Wow, this adventure at Komodo National Park taught me a lot about this unique species of lizard, the Komodo dragon. I hope you learned as well a lot about the biggest lizard on earth. Um, please share this video with your friends and um, to spread the beauty of the world. There are so many amazing animals out there, amazing nature and we all should protect it. And uh, yeah, let's come together for a better world.